Christian, congratulations on uh, your role in Thor Love and Thunder. You knocked it out of the park, so. Oh, thank you very gorgeous, much. Gorgeous, changed everything. Uh, I actually want to start, you, you're no stranger to comic book movies, geek culture and stuff like that. I would love to hear, because like this is Gore God of, or Thor God of Thunder, number one, and number two is the first appearance of Gore. Through your time in these in these franchises, have you ever have you amounted any collectibles? Been gifted any? Purchased any? Ooh, um, I have the sword. You know, I have that. That's pretty good. I've got the Batman cowls as well. So that's not a bad collection, is it? No, certainly not. Do you have, does you show them off at all? You ever like do people come by and look I, at it? No, I do keep it private. I don't like my f uh, house to be. F filled with the uh, film memorabilia. So they're, they're in very quiet corners. That's fair, that's fair. Uh, now in this movie, we know Marvel fans who have been on Thor's journey for a while know this is a character that's lost everything. Gore has also lost essentially everything when we meet him in this movie. When you were developing the character with Taika, with Chris Hemsworth, did you talk about those parallels? Was that all intentional? Yes, absolutely, you know, and they're very different uh, approaches to dealing with that uh, pain, of course, with a great deal of humor, as is uh, 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 Taika's brilliance. Um, and, uh, uh, and then also, but yeah, touching on a great sincerity of how do you deal with pain and love and loss, etc. And I do think people will find that this is not only a hell of a roller coaster and just a great time and funny as hell, but also very moving. Yeah, I agree. In the comics, Gore has a very distinct look, almost like a Voldemort look and a lot less clothing. Ah, yes, right. <laughs> when, when, when they approached you for the role, were you like, hold on, are we going that way? What are we doing with the appearance? What did you think of that? Yeah, I was coming off of a film where it had been necessary to be sort of rather uh, 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 lacking in muscle. Um, and then I saw the images and thought, well, that's not going to be possible. And this G-string thing that's going on there. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and he looked in the comic books like physically a, you know, a, a, someone uh, uh, to reckon with Thor. And I said, well, you know, that's just not going to be possible um, in the state I'm in. And we literally have three days between me finishing one film and heading over to uh, Australia for the quarantine and whatnot. Um, I like to usually have much more time in between, but just the pandemic meant that things all got uh, uh, worked out that way. And so we said, all right, no, we'll go with the supernatural powers that he does have, that he gets from the Necro Sword, etc., which I think works really effectively. And, uh, you know, uh, they might want to see his ass, they don't want to see mine. So let's, let's you know, say, lose that G string. That had already, that decision had, thank God, already been made. The very first time I sat down with Taika, I said, Really? And he went, no, 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 let's not go there. Oh, well, you looked great. Um, now, I, I read some of the early reactions last night, the reviews from people who were at the premiere. I saw comparisons between your performance as Gore to even Heath Ledger's performance as Joker. Oh, like, so, uh, uh, I'm curious, did you, that's, did you that's, find that's any influence? very complimentary and very touching for me, yeah. Did, did you find yourself looking at any other villains or anything like that for inspiration? Um, there's inspiration in so many places that you might not even realize you're getting inspiration from, but very directly, you know, I looked at uh, Nosferatu and I looked at Aphex Twin Come to Daddy music video, uh, which is a favorite of mine and of Tyker's. Yeah, and, and so the last thing for you, I gotta ask, Spider-Man actors are coming back, Patrick Stewart played Xavier again, Keaton's doing Batman again. Does it ever, do, now that you're back in a comic book franchise with this experience, does it ever feel tempting to put on the cape and cowl again one more time? Or do they no. even reach out to you? No, 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 nobody, nobody uh, reaches out to me or they keep me like a mushroom, keep me in the dark and feed me shit. But, um, <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, uh, for me, that would be a matter of uh, Chris Nolan. If he ever decided to do it again, and if, uh, and if he chose to come my way again, then yeah, I would consider it because that was always our pact uh, between each other is uh, we would just stick to, we, we said we would only ever make three. And then I said to myself, and I'll only ever make it with Chris. Interesting. Well, I'm, I love having you as Gore, man. Congratulations, and thank you so much for the time. Thank you.